In the blink of an eye, it went from a quiet single family home to a busy private school. And so today, a Rockland County town filed court papers seeking to shut down a yeshiva that it claims opened illegally. CBS 2's Tony Aiello spoke with concerned neighbors. Two weeks ago, the house at 97 Highview Road in Suffern was a single family home until one morning. And all of a sudden, it was a school. It's definitely an illegal, very serious situation. They haven't filed for the permits for a school. There's no sprinkler systems. There's 65 little boys in a single family home. Annette Dorr says the pictures tell the story. Every weekday, buses pull up, dozens of boys get out and go into the house. 97 Highview is now a yeshiva, a school for Hasidic boys and a source of frustration for nearby residents. They just moved in and started a school and they're disregarding the law. They're not supposed to be here as a school. Building and fire inspectors visited the yeshiva again today. Ramapo town officials say the school opened illegally. The building doesn't have the required sprinkler system or emergency exits. Is Rabbi Gross available? I tried to ask Rabbi Samuel Gross why he opened the school without permits. No one inside would come to the door. They say they want to be good neighbors, but they're not going to be. They can't be. Highview Road is a busy thoroughfare with no shoulder for the school buses to stop on. So they pull into the narrow driveway and as this picture shows, sometimes get stuck. It's definitely disrupted our lives. It's noisy. It's, you know, it's just, it's not the right place for it. The town of Ramapo has issued building violations and is taking steps to get an injunction to shut the school down. Neighbors want the school to learn a lesson about following the fire code and obeying the law. In Suffern, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Now, zoning law does not allow a private school in a home, but only after a lengthy approval process and site review.